Hey, good day to everybody. It's October 14th, 2021. Um, driving up to Big Bear Lake. I wanted you guys to see what it, what it looks like today. Driving up, just completely blue skies. We're on highway, we're gonna be on Highway 38 shortly to drive up there. Um, highway 330 is closed right now due to rock abatement. Our good friend Gabriel Magana from the channel um, let, uh, let me know, I texted him to see because I, I couldn't pull up any info on my phone for some reason I was going through a bad area and my internet service wasn't working so but anyway this is where we're going guys the very top up there so this is for those of you who don't know what it's like uh, anywhere outside of Big Bear or how we get up there or, the, or this and that this is this is the this is the route that I suggest all of you drive on it's a little bit longer um, but especially in the winter time the reason why I suggest it because there are are less areas to fall thousands of feet down. <laughs> it's it's uh it's it's about five or six miles longer. You do have a consistent 55 mile per hour speed limit, and uh, there's a, a a couple little passing areas. But this is the route I I always tell my mom to please drive up. I always tell you guys for the ones who are more concerned. This is this is this is the route, and there's some absolutely beautiful scenery going up. Highway 38, which is what we're going to be doing here. So, um, yeah, I thought we would start now. We're in a town called Mentone. We just came out of Redlands. Or maybe we're still in Redlands and coming into Mentone right now. But anyway, you guys see up there? That's where we're going, up there. So just to the right of that peak is where I live, right behind there. I like, But there's another little, yeah, uh, I believe where you see the snow on the very top. Let me zoom in. Can you guys see that snow like right there? Um, it's it's, it's kind of darker, but that's where we're gonna be driving by. So we're gonna be seeing probably a decent amount of snow, I'm hoping, because we're gonna be hitting about 8,400, uh, 8,443, or wait, or maybe it's 8,000. Yeah, I think it's 8,443 feet, which is uh, Onyx Summit. That is Onyx Summit, so. Yeah, guys, we're just going to cruise. I love doing this stuff for you guys. I love it so much. And yeah, holding the camera is a pain in the butt, but I've explained to you guys numerous times why I, I maintain holding the camera now. Um, I've spent, literally, guys, a small fortune, and so have you guys, sending me um, iPhone holders and stuff um, that'll hold it nice and steady so it's not going to be shaking around too much while I'm doing recordings. Well, um, the, the issue is, is even on the ones that I spent $100 on, they still, because the phone's so heavy, it still kind of rattles a little bit, and so the camera's never, it's, it's not a flush, beautiful picture. It's just shaking like this the whole time. So that's why I hold it, and once again, another sign to, sh to show you guys that I love you guys a lot. I mean, this phone gets heavy after like just a few minutes and to hold this for now, it's gonna be like an hour straight. That's just freaking awesome. Like, uh, I love you guys, man. I love you guys. And by the way, you guys, today I had to go see the dentist um, and his, his name is Dr. Taylor Rice. I'm gonna do a lot more about him, you guys. Um, so basically Dr. Rice, he, uh, well, he's my hero, but, uh, I had a video about a month and a half ago or two months, no, probably about three months ago, and I was talking about how, my, how, how some of my teeth on my left side were starting to bother me. And, I, and I've always had good teeth. I've always taken care of them until I moved up to Big Bear, and then things started going bad. Um, so long story short, he reaches out to me saying, hey, man, I've been watching your, your channel. It helps us out so much, and I'm, I'm a dentist. And if you, um, I'd be honored to help you out, man. So I couldn't believe it, you guys. Why I jumped on it right away also is because, not only because he's a friend and he reached out, but because uh, I could trust him right away. That's the way I felt. Um, obviously lots of situations when people have your trust, that's when they'll, they'll, they'll try to rip you off more, right? Um, because you're totally trusting, so whatever number they they toss out, they will they will toss out. But he reached out to me to help me out, and the, guys, this is one of you guys. Like this is crazy. Like this is awesome. 
he reached out um, and was willing to help. And uh, yeah, not only was I so blown away by that, but when I ended up going down there, because I've, I've gone twice now in the past two months to get everything done. And both times I've stayed at a hotel the, the night before, right after work, I'll drive down the mountain and then go stay in Laguna um, at a hotel. And then early in the morning, I, I, I go see him. But anyway, his office is in, I think, Laguna Woods or, or maybe uh, Laguna Hills. It's, gosh, I can't remember. But anyway, it's in one of the most beautiful office buildings, you guys. Just incredible, this office building. And look at these beautiful mountains. This is where we're going, guys. This is where I live up there at the very top. Um, beautiful office building. And then when you walk in, you're just like, oh my gosh, am I in Beverly Hills? Like, it is as nice as it gets. And then in his office, guys, it is one of the most high-tech, most money spent to keep the customers happy, keep the patients just stoked. Like, the whole place was just five star. Everything from all the sound equipment, the TVs, the equipment they use on 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 your teeth. Like, like they did so much more in terms of like seeking out what's going on than I was used to. And it was just so amazing for how thorough he is. And he has such a great bedside manner too, you guys. Guys, this is one of us. This is one of us, man. Like, I want, I want all, like, I swear to God, you guys, like, this guy I trust so much and I just love him dearly already that if, if you guys felt like you're being ripped off from him, I'll, I'll pay for your dentistry. No joke. Like that's, that's how, that's how strong I feel about this guy. And you, you guys, they don't need any money. This guy, he and his father, it's a father son team, which is so cool. They do so well, you guys like, like, but it's very obvious why, because they care and they do a fantastic job and the bedside manner is unbelievably awesome. Just so, so cool. Um, yeah, just so cool. It's it's Taylor Rice and his father, his father, Dr. Rice. So both of them, Dr. Rice, um, out of the Laguna area. As I said, guys, one of the most marvelous, spectacular offices I've ever seen. Um, and, and, and my mom's real estate office, when, when she owned a real estate company back in the day called 714 Realty. That's when everything in Orange County was all area code 714. And like everything outside of it, except for like LA and stuff like that in San Diego, it was, it was all 714. Um, she had a gorgeous, gorgeous office. Like her office was was like, uh, like, this This doesn't tell you how nice my mom's office was, but long story short, Rupert Murdoch bought my mom's company from her to move Prudential into that area. Guys, like how crazy is that Rupert Murdoch bought my mom's business? Like what? Like bought her out basically. So um, yeah, that's super cool. That was like 30 years ago, but still super cool. Um, long story, Dr. Rice's office may even be nicer. They have, it's like every little individual room where they do all the dental work is, it felt like I was on vacation. They have these really unbelievably awesome glasses that like when you're laying flat on your back, when they're working on, on your teeth, they make the angle of your view really low so I can hold, hold my phone down like by my legs while I'm staring at the ceiling and I can see my phone perfectly respond to all my work stuff and uh, um, just answer comments and stuff. Like it's just so cool. They have iPads and stuff there. If if you want to plug in some headphones, they provide everything for you guys, and nothing is cheap or or, or grimy. It's it's just it was such a sanitary but beautiful, beautiful place, you guys. Once again, it's Doctor Rice Rice Dentistry in Orange County. Um, when I get the number, I will because I'm driving right now, obviously, so I don't have the number on me, but in the bottom of the description or actually at the very top I'll put Dr. Rice's information just the the phone number the address and stuff and guys look like I shouldn't mention this part because he like he did this uh, because he loves me which is so cool man he gave me a huge discount you guys like he gave okay by the way we're we're entering the well, we're in the San Bernardino National Forest now and we're about to start climbing but yeah, so uh, guys, he gave me a humongous discount. Like, I think I paid a total of 20, 
no, about just over $2,000 for, um, guys, that was like 50% off, okay? And he wanted to, he wanted to do that. At first, when I contacted them, his secretary, one of his many wonderful, just so kind secretaries, um, um, said at the end of the conversation of me booking my appointment that Dr. Rice would like to give me 25% off. And like that, that, that brought me to tears. And if you guys know me, you guys know I'm, I'm an emotional guy, but that brought me to tears. And when I left that first appointment, as I'm paying, she says, Hey, you know what? Dr. Rice said he, he can't give you the 25% off. I'm very sorry, but he can give you 50% off. And I was like, what? What? So yeah, guys, uh, um, yeah, it's still a lot of money, but what he did for me, and I know the work is, is beautiful and perfect and always guaranteed guys. These guys are the elite of the elite as, as a youngster, my parents had, my parents had a lot you guys. Okay. Um, I, I grew up a very rare lifestyle, like MTV cribs. Okay. No joke. Um, we had Rolls Royces, Porsches, seven bedroom, nine, nine bathroom house with an elevator, 69 foot yacht right in our backyard, catamarans, Boston whalers, like just all the toys and stuff like, like, uh, um, I don't know what the hell my, my whole point was there, but, um, yeah. Oh, I know what it was. When I was a kid, I, I'd go to all the best of the best of the best doctors and yeah, they weren't cheap. And basically Dr. Rice is that he, he's the, he's, he and his father, cause I did a little reading up on them. They are very, very respected in the dental field. Um, I mean, beyond like, uh, almost wrote the book type stuff. So they're as good as it gets. Um, and when I said, I'd, I don't know if it's right to mention that he hooked me up. And the reason why is because I don't want you guys to assume that he's going to like, uh, like he did that for me, I think, because he's been watching my channel for a long time. And so, but I just want you guys to know, no, no matter what it is, the work is incredible and it's done right. And it's all guaranteed. Um, man, I wish everybody would go see him. I'm not afraid guys. This is the biggest one. When I when I first went there, when I first went there, I was still terrified of the dentist, you guys, okay? I was terrified. Um, and I had to use nitrous oxide while I was there to help me get through it because it scares me. This time, I didn't even think about the nitrous. I was looking forward to seeing him and going in there. So guys, it's a, whew, I, I never thought I'd be telling a story like this about the dentist. But so many of you live in my home area of, of, of Orange County. And a lot of you live in like Riverside County, San Bernardino County, LA County, San Diego County. Look, I drove all the way from Big Bear to go stay, to go have my, my teeth done. Like uh, there's, there's gotta be about a thousand dentists in between. There has to be. But guys, this was so worth it. And I am not an early riser. Even staying at a hotel last night, waking up early sucks. Like I've worked really hard for so many years to be able to not have to do anything till like 10 AM. Um, I know that that sounds lazy, but it's, it took a lot of work to get to where I wanted to be, which is lazy. <laughs> but yeah, guys. So man, that's, that's all I'll say right now about Dr. Rice and Rice dentistry, R I C E dentistry. And like one of the first things he said to me too today was, Hey dude, I really want to buy one of your beanies. <laughs> I'm like, dude, no way. I told him because of what he's, he's done for me and the thousands of dollars he has saved me. Um, you know, I'm probably going to take care of him. I wish, I wish I could just give, give you guys these things. I really do. But like they, <laughs> they're going to help me out guys. It's, it's not much, but my overhead is not much. My rent is 550 per month in my little two story house, you guys. So, so like, yeah, these beanies will really, really, really help me. A bunch of you have already said that 
that you guys want want one, and I'm just super, super, super stoked because uh, I, 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 I cherish these beanies that will be here soon. I've, I spent a lot of money on them. Sorry about that, guys. The phone kind of cut out right there. But, uh, yeah. Here we go. I'm driving up. Driving up. Driving. But, yeah, if you guys didn't hear about the beanie part, is that, yeah, it'll help me out a lot um, selling these things. And I'm going to give Dr. Rice one because he saved me a couple thousand dollars. Um, I wish I could afford to give you guys all one of these for nothing. Like that, seriously, that would be the ideal situation. That would be the ideal situation. I, I just really hope you guys understand that, that like, like, yeah, it's, it's not that much, that much money. And what I'll make off of them is not that much. It's way less than any stores would make because I want you guys to be able to afford them so you can enjoy it. But at the same time, my rent and my overhead is so low. This little bit, I think it's like, I'll make like 30 bucks each. Um, I mean, that, that's, guys, that's going to help me tremendously. Tremendously. That'll get me a few months worth of rent paid. Because I stress out on this stuff all the time, you guys. I, I really stress out on, on like, uh, not that I can't pay my bills. I can, but I just get stressed out. I'm sure it's normal. I'm sure everybody does. You know, nobody likes paying paying bills. Like, a, I don't mind it because if I borrow the money, I'm I, I feel good about paying it back. But it's uh yeah, I, I just I'm very grateful for you guys, especially giving me an opportunity to uh, to create some some cool clothing for you guys. Um, it's not oh I'm I'm not creating it. It's just it's my logo put on some super nice fabric, and the logo is is on a leather patch. You guys, like I did not go cheap on these at all and the next up if these sell well I'm gonna do hoodies but they're gonna be like really <laughs> guys like like I might not do do the hoodies because it if I do anything guys I want to keep this channel very unique like uh like a, yeah it's super small but I, I want to have like five star accessories for you guys and I and I think a beautiful a beautiful like even like if it's a merino wool <laughs> that would probably be like 200 bucks my car all right guys sorry about that the phone kept on cutting out and then i was missing some some stuff look and there's some rocks falling down here i, I just pulled over because i saw some falling probably wasn't too smart to stop where they're falling <laughs> but i did like a schmuck what are you doing you guy what are you doing my friend oh look at those views look at the views so I'm gonna keep my eye on the phone and make sure that it, it stays good for us here. Because we're driving into some, some heat coming from the sun, which is making, oh look at that birdie! Making the phone have some issues. But yeah, so this is Highway 38, ladies and gents. Wow, look at how beautiful it is. We're already way up here. We still have about 45 minutes to go. Yeah, it's like I gotta listen. Oh no. up here I think we've had two massive ones but hang on we're just gonna pull out here real quick just for a quick second All right. here we go so yeah the phone was overheating unbelievable man we're gonna put this down a little bit kind of hopefully block some of the sun and unfortunately while we were waiting there a couple really slow cars passed us in the passing lanes on highway 38 did not come up for a little bit so my bad my bad here we're just gonna pull out here and then pull back on the road. We 
know what? We're gonna hit every pull out of here. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I really have no life. Just a tool. Alrighty then. Alrighty. My mom sent me pictures. She's in Montana right now with her her two sisters. Um, they're all in their 70s. And um, my aunt has stage four pancreatic cancer. And it's, um, so her son, my cousin, he owns a bunch of really big, beautiful Airbnbs all over the country. The dude does so well, it's unbelievable. Uh, but he, he put them up and flew them out to, to one of his nice spots in, in Montana as like, kind of like the last trip for the sisters and stuff. But, um, kind of bothered me that like, he felt like, like, oh, he's the only one who can do that for them. It's like, come on, man. Well, there's a will, there's a way. But, like, uh, if they don't want it to be the last trip, it doesn't have to be. I told my mom, wherever she wants to go in the world, she just tells me, just tell me, and I'll make it happen. I don't give a damn how, if, if I have to sell something. But I know I can, I have enough on my credit cards to, to go to Europe first class, stay in a five-star place and do it twice so if my mom when she wants to do something like that I don't know if physically she can though which really 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 bothers me um, god it bothers me she's my hero she's my idol she's my there's some snow you guys see that I'm talking look there's snow there's more snow over here than there than there was in freaking Big Bear we're not that much lower in elevation this is called uh, this town is is called uh Oh my gosh, not Forest Lawn, Angeles Oaks. Well, look at all the snow. And there's gonna be more snow once we get up towards, towards Onyx Summit. And we are headed that direction. Got my car washed again today on my way back up. I went through the drive-through car wash, but then I wiped down the inside again. Isn't this great, you guys? I'm taking care of this car now. I know you, oh my God, look at all the snow. What the heck, bro? What the heck? Look at all of that up there. Oh my gosh, guys. I didn't, oh man, this is making me sad. They got more snow over here than we did. <laughs> I'm a strange fella. I just have fun, you guys. I I like to have a good good time. I don't like to take life seriously, especially around you guys, um, because you guys allow me to live life the way it should be lived, which is not taking life seriously until we need to. Until we need to. I used to, to be kind of a, um, I don't know, kind of a disagreeable person. Um, and once I just kind of let go, and just really just trying to not take things as seriously I struggle I really do a lot you guys but as good as I'm getting I still have a long way to go and uh, yeah it's it's it just I think it's it's a much better way to live the older I've gotten just to not take things seriously obviously when you need to take it seriously like when your family needs you when your friends need you when your business needs you stuff like that then yeah, flip your hat around to the, to the, I'm serious type of hat. But other than that, we only get one chance at this thing, you guys. Enjoy it the best you can. And I say all this stuff when, when I don't enjoy it. But I know what the right thing to do is and I know what the right advice is. I just need to follow it myself. And that's the biggest struggle, guys, is being able to actually walk the lines that we're drawing it's it's not easy it's not easy but it's worth it it really is it's just so guys like okay, okay it's very simple but it's definitely not easy it's so simple and look at all this snow i am so i absolutely just i am so happy i am so happy to see all the snow 
probably going to be a lot more up at Onyx Summit if they have this much. Oh my god, look at how much that piled up right there. Holy moly, guys. I think they got a few inches over here. that traffic in just a second. I can feel it. We're making pretty decent time. Huge drop-offs there, but it's not, like, that's not along most of this road at all. You'll see really quickly here that we'll, we'll be getting to, to parts where it's just if you accidentally do kind of get into a little bit of a, an accident, a lot of parts of, of, of this road, you're not going to go falling off the mountain like you would right here or like something like that, you know? So that's why I have you guys come up this route. I don't want anything to happen to you guys. I want you guys to come up to Big Bear, have a great time, and enjoy yourselves. Because the more you guys enjoy yourselves, it gives us more option to live up there. Because if you guys don't enjoy yourselves up there, you're not going to visit. And if you don't visit, then we don't receive any tourist uh, funds. And our town is, is that's, that's what supports us, is, is, is tourism. That's it. There, if we didn't have the ski resorts or the lake, there would be no town there, you guys. Just, just, just be aware of that. You wouldn't be able to live there. There's not enough jobs that would generate enough money. You wouldn't have all the police and this and that services up there it would, it would, it would be a really hard town to, to freaking get to like uh yeah it, it's it's a blessing that we have these ski resorts up here and a man-made lake because it brings in a lot of tourism and yeah as, as i said that's that's all we got that's all we got up there for bringing in money but what more do we need like that's that's a pretty cool life. I lived this life one other time on the big island of, of Hawaii. I worked at the Hilton Waikoloa Resort on, um, in Waikoloa. And uh, I'm telling you guys, man, like, like dealing with you guys, because most people come up there, they're in a good mood. So like, it's, it's just, it's typically a very awesome experience dealing with tourism up here, on our way up here. Because, yeah, you guys are in a terrific mood most of the time. I mean, who, I mean, when you think about it, when you're going on, on, on vacation, usually you're, you're not in a bummer type of a mood. You're in, you're in a good mood. So that's a blessing about where, where we live also is that, yes, lots of the money that's spent there is from, from people who are really happy to be there and enjoying life and just, man, you guys are awesome. Had to give that guy a honk and uh, and the uh, hazards. That's what you do when you pass someone, guys. Just hit your hazards, just to like tell them thank you, or wave your hand out, flash your bright, something. Hit your brakes a, a couple times, just to acknowledge them because this can be a long, grueling drive sometimes, you guys. So when you have respectful people who don't just live in their own little world and they follow the street signs so everyone can get up here safer and in a timely fashion god bless those people you get a lot of people that won't even turn out at the turnouts who are driving half the speed limit who just don't care and that's the only time i get really upset you guys like i have a really bad road rage issue you guys haven't seen it because uh, uh, i'm always so focused on you guys and making these YouTube videos, but I want you guys to know who I am. Like, like I, I get, I get angry. Like I've, I've got a temper and it's gotten a lot better, but I, I snap sometimes. And, uh, what I snap mostly with is stupidity. That's something I, I cannot handle. I, I just cannot handle just, just dumb things and dumb people. I'm not trying to say that I'm some sort of Mensa intellectual, but I, I, yeah, I don't know why. I just get really, really irritated with not dumb stupidity. There's a difference. Dumb, you're born with. 
and you and you know not all of us have super strong intelligence I wish I did but yeah it's uh, dumb you're born with stupid's a choice I sure hope I didn't sound pompous there at all like like I'm not judging anybody I don't, I don't judge anybody I have enough of my own problems like seriously I have plenty of, plenty of my own issues and I'm really trying to work through everything you guys because the better the better I can become for me the better I can be for everyone around me and the older I get seriously like I've always had a heart for other people I've always cared for other people a lot but like as, as I get older it's like I, I just want to share my experiences strength and hope with everybody um, and yes once again I'm still struggling you guys like I struggle emotionally um, you guys have a tremendous impact on this by the way so thank you thank you very much like seriously right now it feels like all of you are sitting in the car with me that's what this does for me. I, I I love it. I love it. So this is where Christopher Dorn got got killed. He's that guy who went and uh, killed all those cops. He was a Los Angeles cop also, I think, and then uh, went on. Uh, he went killing a bunch of cops, and then he drove up to the Big Bear area, and right next to Bear Mountain, one of those those little homes right there, he tied. The, the, the people who live there up to a chair, took their car and drove all the way down here and where we passed that that road back there, Glass Road, he turned on Glass Road and then there was a cabin just right down, not far at all from, from right there that uh, um, they don't know if he shot himself or if the bullets flying in killed him, but he did set the place ablaze and uh, yeah. He, he was, he ended up dying. But yeah, that's Christopher Dorner, or, or Christopher Dornan, or, or something. If you guys check it out on Google, Christopher, Christopher Dorner, even though that's probably not his, like the proper last name, if you type that in and just say like, uh, um, cop killer loses his life near Big Bear, Christopher Dornan, I think that's his name. Guys, this story was epic. Like, I was living down at the down the hill at the time, and like we were all on alert, a hundred miles away from here. Like, to be careful, lock your doors, this and that. Like, dude, it was one of the craziest manhunts ever, and because this guy was, I think, an ex-military and obviously a cop, so he knew all the tricks. He knew everything, how the cops are are gonna try to catch him, what they're gonna do. So he was. Uh, uh, what's that word? Ambushing them. It's just crazy, crazy, crazy. Anyway, guys, so look. To the right, it's just campground areas at about 6,000 feet up right here. Campground areas everywhere. There's an amphitheater up here. This is why I like you guys driving this road because it, it allows me to relax a little bit more knowing you guys are going to be safer Yes, once again, it's about five, six miles longer than taking the other regular route. And then you gotta drive through the opposite side of Big Bear to get to Big Bear Lake. So we're, we'll be driving through Big Bear City first to get to Big Bear Lake. So it might be even a little bit longer than that, five or six miles. But it's so beautiful, guys, look at this. And it's so much safer. Look at that, perfect, perfect timing for that guy to turn. Yeah, guys, see, wouldn't wanna be. I mean, it just goes way back, guys. It goes way back on both sides. And we got another campground coming up here. Which one would this be? No, this is Jenks Lake Road East. And then right here is, what's that? Santa Ana River or something. There's some more stuff over here. I mean, it's just epically cool in here. It's so cool. And we are just on the other side of that big tall mountain right there. That's where we live. Literally, if we walked up to the top and just walked down to the bottom of the other side, that's where we live. But we have to drive all the way around the mountain range to get there. And we're about halfway. We are about halfway. Oh, that's so gorgeous. Oops, watch the road, buddy. You're gonna crash. This place is amazing. 
little bit of snow all over the place. So this part of the mountain range, you guys, they don't have as many obstructions from the storms. So even though they're a little bit lower elevation than we are in Big Bear, they can and sometimes do get a lot more snow. Because it'll hit here first and then it'll hit those mountains right there. And then it'll, it'll really dump at the top up there. But then most of the moisture is, is squeezed out just on the other side. It's crazy. And then all these storms hit that really dry desert climate. It's, it's a, the anomalies of all the microclimates up here are so awesome, you guys. Like, it's so awesome. When I lived on the big island of Hawaii, we had, a, we had similar stuff there. Where I lived, it rained, I think, twice in the year and a half I was there. But where my friend Brandon lived, I think it was eight miles away. I lived in Waikoloa Village. He lived in Waimea. Um, and he was about eight, eight nine, nine miles away at the most. And he would get rain every single day. I lived in the desert with lava rock everywhere. Eight, eight miles from him, you couldn't see any trees anywhere. Just dry as can be. Beautiful, but dry as can be. And literally eight mile drive away, it's lush rainforest. Like with moss, like growing on moss, like it's that wet. So every day they would get get moisture and it's, it's, it's always fascinated me. It's always fascinated me. For instance, there's parts of like this mountain range that have like a rainforest feel. Like there's uh, there, there's a part of Crestline on, off of Highway 138, that part when you're driving up, that's just, I, I mean, it feels like you're in a damn rainforest. It's so green and so thick. And I attribute that to the constant marine layer that's just, because that area is right at that cloud level. So those clouds are always engulfing that town. And it just, there's always wet roads, roofs are leaking or, or dripping and stuff because of all the moisture. So they might not get much like legit pre like precipitation like rain or this and that, but from all the moisture that's constantly just sitting over that place, it is so green and so freaking beautiful. Highway 138, you guys, I think you guys would be stoked. It's a, it's basically the bottom part when you're, you're turning up to the mountain range. Give that guy a thank you for letting us go. Let us all go, that's very nice of him. Yeah, so when you pass Silverwood Lake, and you're about to start heading up when you're on Highway 138, you'll notice that it gets so lush, <laughs> just crazy lush. And then not too far away from there, it starts thinning out a little bit, but it's really green over there, everywhere. Anywho, these guys are going at a good pace. I'm not, not too bummed out about that. Hope all of you were doing great. I'm I. As I said, I just got done with my dentist, and uh, guys, he is so cool. He he is he is so cool. I don't have any fear of going. To the, there's no excuses now. It's just pure joy. It really is. Like I didn't even feel the needle going in, you guys. Like it's just nuts. Absolutely nuts. I don't think I'm gonna be able to pass all these guys. This car is so slow. I'm gonna do my best. I'm not even, I'm not going to be able to pass even one more of these guys. Oh, come on, Nick. Come on, dude. You got this. You got this. And then you would think a normal person would, like, pull over and just let me pass knowing that I'm, I'm going that much faster. But this is what we're used to up here, you guys. I know you guys are very respectful. And it's not your world and we're just passing through it, but people like this yeah it is and I know I'm probably being a little harsh right now guys as I told you it's road rage I get road rage like uh yeah <laughs> now we're at 7,000 feet elevation folks seriously I can't stress enough when you guys are driving up here especially when it's dangerous like if there's someone on your butt please like don't stress yourself out about it pull over at the very next turnout it's that simple it's that simple because there are a lot of aggressive drivers up here and I don't want you guys to get spooked 
I don't want you guys hitting your gas and driving faster to appease a guy like me. Like just pull over, let the fast people pass, and then take a deep breath again and just, just drive slow and get here safe. But please, 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 like if someone's on on your butt, like pull over and let them by. It's it's rude, it's it's rules of the road. I mean but it seems like a lot of people don't like to be courteous like that, thinking that, oh, I'm not gonna let them go ahead. Like, it's like, what, like, I don't know. I'm the same way, I'm the same way sometimes. But I'm always like the fastest one on this mountain road anyway. I was trying, guys, I'm just trying to give you little, little tiny little pointers and little tiny tips that'll make your journey that much better. I know it doesn't seem like it's that impactful, but it will, it'll make your journey that much better. Not stressing driving up, trust me. <laughs> Trust me, you'll feel a lot better. Most people that I know stress out driving up this mountain. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, it doesn't matter. So to help you guys out, give you guys a little less stress driving up here, it'll just be that much more fun for you when you get here. Sorry it's shaking. We're hitting a little bit of bumps. Not bumps, but just uh it's not totally flat. Oh here we go, here we go. Come on Nick, come on. We're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. Look, there's a passing there right here, but it's so small and I don't think we have any chance to pass dude right here. But I'm gonna try my damnedest. Yeah, this is two of the three passing lanes. The last one is up at Onyx Summit. Uh, just because it says 55, I don't want you to feel like you have to drive 55. Once again, just let the fast people pass you. Like, like uh, if, so, if, if there's someone right on my butt, I'll pull over right there. Like, it's so simple. Or I'll pull over right there real quick, or right here. Um, I just want you guys to have an, an, an easy time getting here, that's all. And we are almost to the summit, folks. The summit of Onyx. Here's uh, Laurel Pines Camp. Then I have a friend who lives off of Rainbow right here. That is so cool. The only issue is that he, he has no, no cell phone service over here. He gets zero. And, but it's so peaceful over here. There's like no residents over here. You're probably 25 minutes away from anything. It's so cool. See, that U-Haul guy up there is just a total douche. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm, not, I'm just trying to, trying to explain. There's turnout area everywhere, and there's tons of cars behind him, but he doesn't care. turnouts but he's still driving see I get I get like this guys unfortunately at least I'm able to acknowledge it and I really hope these people start hitting the gas so we can step on it up here and pass him but we're not gonna be able to pass him we're not gonna have enough space especially with people like this driving this slow I'm about ready to honk my train horn that's what I'm about ready to do <laughs> just kidding guys we're not going anywhere 
no reason to honk my train horn. But we are going to pass as many of these people as possible right here. And then this is the summit that we are coming up to. It's called Onyx Summit. Look at how beautiful that is, man. summit right here people pull out there and do sledding and stuff and build snowmen and just have fun i thought we'd see a lot more snow up here but there's none this is 1500 feet higher or maybe 1700 feet or something let's see 84 yeah it's it's a lot higher than we are in big bear but then again it's a much drier part of the mountain range too but sometimes they will get a, a beating up here. And when we get our bigger storms, guys, I'll, I'll be driving up here. You guys know I love driving all around the town, even the most dangerous. Like, this is not safe. Like, uh, well, none of the roads are safe when there's ice and snow. This is the only part that can be a little bit scary, I believe. But if you're not speeding, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I mean, every one of these mountain roads, there's something treacherous, but this is the easiest of them all. Of. Um, and of 
course, ripe with beauty. Wow, look at some of these colors. And those are on dead bushes. <laughs> See, like we can pass here, but we're not going to. That's what I meant. I, I didn't mean illegal. I'm sorry. And there'll be another spot up here too. And then there will be some spots where there is no break in the line, but you can see forever. can get decent snow the closer you are to this side because the mountains just right here right here to the left so the storms get they, they, they get all their moisture squeezed out of them once they lift up over the top and so a lot of the heaviest stuff will fall out just on the other side of of the mountain which is on this side actually and then the remaining will fall down here all right so my phone's getting hot again the sun's popping through again, so I gotta be very, be very careful. So as we enter into town, into the just Big Bear proper, it's 57 degrees. If you guys can see, 57 degrees, 2.55 p.m. So it's it's a nice day. It's a very nice day. I missed the 70 degree weather, but this is okay. It's not too far off. Okay, so we got trails and stuff everywhere, guys, everywhere. There's so much to do up here. Now we're back at 7,000 feet elevation. We were at 8,443 feet. The highest point of this drive. Up here, coming up to the right, this is Irwin Lake. This is a huge neighborhood. It's probably the biggest neighborhood in all of Big Bear. Either the biggest or the second biggest. It's huge. And then Baldwin Lake is up here too. That's another big community. The other side's closed. You can't drive up Highway 330 right now. Apparently, once again, they're doing rock abatement or, or something. Uh, they, when I lived down the mountain, it seemed like when they had to do like, like heavy road work and stuff, they would bring all the lights and do it at nighttime when people don't like have lives to live and have to be somewhere at certain times and can get fired if they're not there at a certain time. Like, I just don't understand. It's, it's just, it, I mean, am I wrong? Did they, don't they do a lot of the, like, the big work that'll take time at nighttime with those big, powerful spotlights that they use? Because, man, they, they really make it miserable for us up here. Every single summertime, in the middle of the day, you'll be stopped here you'll be stopped there you'll be stuck in serious traffic 
and I just I just don't understand like um, why they can't do it at nighttime. I'm bitching and complaining a little bit. I'm a little bit tired. That was kind of a long drive, but yeah, I'm just I'm wondering why they don't they don't do this at nighttime, and they decide to hinder everyone's progress. entered Big Bear City, guys. So if you make a left, I forgot about Sugarloaf. That's that's probably the third biggest neighborhood up here. It's huge. It might even be, be second, but I don't think it's bigger than Irwin. But if you make a left here on Maple, you will head up to Sugarloaf. You'll be baking some Sugarloafs. So nice up here, it's 58 degrees now in Big Bear City, California. So weird, after living here for like a long time, sometimes I forget that I'm living way up at the top of a mountain. Cause I'm always out driving around up here and I never get to see down the mountain unless I'm like driving out of town. And once you're out of town, then you can see some spots that'll show you what it, like that view all the way down the mountain. 6,000 feet, 7,000 feet. Um, and up here in town, there's nowhere in the regular part of town anywhere to see that view. We're surrounded by mountains. So you forget that you're 7,000 feet up. And it's pretty darn cool. My best friend came up a couple days ago and it was his first time ever driving down at nighttime. And he, he was blown away with just how beautiful all the lights are and, and and how much it really feels like you're on an airplane. I am a very lucky guy. Can't stress that enough. Basketball, sweet. Guys, right here, this is the only shop you need to shop at up here. I, I know it's a smoke shop, it's called bear smoke and vape shop but they have so many little unique cool cool fun things um they have a little bit of like everything it's like a really cool little uh souvenir store too so um they are such awesome people the owner sahil he is such a wonderful guy and like i will do everything in my power to help support his business the guy's incredible incredible husband and incredible father um these are the people that I want to associate with. You become who you associate with. And I don't want to associate with bottom feeders. I want to associate with people who have ambition and motivation to follow the ambition. Um, and that guy, he just opened his second store about four months ago uh, in Big Bear Lake on, on where we're headed right now, as a matter of fact. and. Once we get another snowstorm, because I love him so much, and I think he's, he's such a great dude, um, not on the main snow snow video, but 
either on like the aftermath or part of the snow falling video. Um, I'm, I'm gonna walk through his other shop just to show you guys what he has to offer. And the other shop's smaller, but it's still a good sized place. And uh, yeah, these guys, they deserve all the support in the world. They're good people. They are good people. So any way we can help Sahil, we will. Oh yeah. Yep. Bear smoking vape shop. Anyway, we're almost back, folks. We're probably, see, all these people are turning left right here. Maybe they know something I don't. I think maybe straight ahead. Oh, get through the light, dude. Get through the light. I think through uh, up here we might hit a bunch of traffic. Because I've been working on the road. Look, look at, look, look at the snow. Look at the snow. I didn't, oh my gosh, you guys see that? They already have snow for sledding. Sledding isn't ready yet, but did you see that, guys? They made fresh snow already. That is so awesome. That is so awesome. One of my favorite parts of town, if not my most favorite. This is the most beautiful part of Big Bear, I think. Imagine waking up right there and looking out on that prairie. Living in one of those houses would be amazing. on it basically goes along that beautiful prairie area I, I it's, it's it's beautiful you guys and yeah look oh there yeah and they closed off Stanfield cutoff to make everyone drive all the way around <laughs> seriously it's like the three stooges run this place as I said I don't know if it's normal for all the work like the work that would interrupt your day to be done at nighttime. As I said, living down the hill all my life, that's what I saw all the time. Like when you see like, like even like freeway work and stuff, they're doing that stuff at like one in the morning. <laughs> I, I, I just don't understand why this town just constantly likes to, I, I you know, like it, it can't make it nice for you guys. I mean, this has to be annoying. Like, like who would want to come back up here when you're stuck in all this traffic all the time? But it's just, it's just a constant. It's just a constant. I mean, look, the whole thing's closed. These barnies. Guys, I told you I get road rage. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm gonna breathe. I'm try and feel better here. Calm myself down a little bit. I'm flipping out, yo. I'm flipping out, yo. All right. How are we doing here? Look at all this traffic, man. There's, it's it's a weekday, you guys. It's the middle of the freaking week. We got nothing special going on up here. I mean, technically, anytime one of you guys from this channel comes up here, I consider that a special thing. But that's just me. And if I'm able to have helped you in any way, that's a beautiful thing. Look, all the snow that was on the mountain is already melted from two days ago. I don't know if, if you can see that's uh, uh, Bear Mountain straight ahead. I believe that is the Geronimo Run, which is the most terrifying run in Big Bear. At least I think it is. Or maybe the one, no, the, the one to the left where it goes straight down, I think that's Geronimo. And you're supposed to yell Geronimo when going down. Just kidding. Okay, I'm gonna get to. To, sorry guys as I said I get road rage and I have to like I don't know I get road rage and I need to work on it that's the guy who wouldn't pull over <laughs> so I just pulled in front of him like like what a jerk why did I do that 
I don't, now I'm like regretting it. What a jerk. Anyway. Anyway, anyway. Yeah, sorry about that, you guys. We're just gonna go by here a little bit down Moon Ridge and then turn around and we'll be done. it but to mute me and then turn up turn up the volume or something but anyway all right guys we have entered moon ridge and we are going to turn around and exit moon ridge sweet 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 all right you guys it's october 14th right believe yeah 2021 thank you guys again for everything thank you for cruising with me thank you for being there for me thank you for all the loving comments you're always leaving me and just thank you for for helping make me a better person i really appreciate all the love and support sorry about my road rage i'm getting better i love you all bye wouldn't have road rage if people were considerate on the road